thanks for watching Dairy Farm Kind of Life. I'm going to talk about how we handle breeding on our farm. So we use AI, artificial insemination for breeding. We do not have a bull on our property for a few different reasons. First being that we like to select the sires and the genetics for our herd, which over time builds a herd that is strong, higher milking, optimal quality, and increases longevity. We also don't want to have a bull around the farm for safety reasons. We have young kids and we aren't familiar with dealing with bulls. Eddie's father always used AI on his farm, so Eddie is familiar with it and that's just what he knows. We use a breeding service. We use Major Dairy AI and we are so happy with them. They have a service where they manage everything to do with breeding. So they come six days a week. They walk through the barn, obviously breed any animals that need breeding. They manage all the animals that are coming into heat, manage everything to do with it. And today I have the owner of the company, Bob, coming to talk to me here on the farm and tell you a little bit more about their program. And I'm excited to reveal that Major Dairy AI is actually going to be sponsoring our videos. So we are going to be working with them and yeah, we're so excited. So come along with me and come have a chat with Bob. This video is sponsored by Major Dairy AI Services Limited. Hello, I'm Bob Major, owner of Major Dairy AI Services Limited. We've been in business for about 16 years now. We currently have nine employees and we're managing somewhere between eight and 9,000 cows a day where we have a full reproductive management service. Majority of our work, 90% of our work includes heat detection, managing synchronization, making sure the cows get bred, record keeping, and then working with a vet on vet day, whatever that may look like for the particular herd, as a lot of herds have different parameters and expectations in place. Ultimately, it's our job to make sure your herds get enough pregnancies at the end of the month to fill their quota. I wanted to do something working with cattle growing up, there's no doubt about it. My grandparents milked 100 cows back uh, in the 80s. That was sold at a young age, and I've always had a passion for cattle. So out of college, I started this program. It's just a passion of mine to be able to work with cattle and people and the desire to watch herds thrive is for us that's a that's a big achievement when, when herds do well we we take pride in that and that's not just me that's all our technicians we try to do what we can work with nutritionists the producer veterinarians whatever that may look like 99 percent of the time our herds are always doing quite well week after week we're always getting nearly 100 percent herd health in a lot of the herds we currently work with herds that milk anywhere between 25 cows all the way up to 600 that includes rotary parlors, pack barns, tie stalls, robots, just about every combination of facility that ships milk. And the location that we serve is basically almost Orangeville to St. Mary's and Guelph to Dundalk. We have full-time and part-time people that cover all those areas. Included in our reproductive management work is, uh, is herd monitoring from a reproduction standpoint. With our with our day-to-day -day monitoring, we do work with all herd softwares. And that also includes DHI books to analyze preg rates, heat detection rates, conceptions. Uh, through that, we use, we use charts, graphs, scatter graphs, um, as much information as we can to point us in the right direction on how we're doing as repro managers in the barn. So we also use a lot of data that we have on farm to, to enroll cows, which uh, is a, that really affects conception as well because then you have a better control. You have control of the cow basically with her data. So our program uh, runs six days a week. We walk through cows approximately at the same time, give or take a couple hours each day. When we show up to herds, we start out with the heat report. We check our synchronization list. We walk through the cows, we make observations, we check for heats. Cows with bloods that may have gotten missed, we get those re-enrolled. And we carry out uh, obviously the breeding and the record keeping. Our synchronizing, Depends on the herd and the producer and the veterinarian. We have very minimal synchronizing to almost nothing on some herds to full double off sync, pre sync herds. What I've noticed is that even just with basic estimate shots on a, on a Monday or a Saturday, it is very easy to get a herd cycling so that there's almost no heats on Sundays. We're checking our heat report is cows that are 18 to 25 days bred. We're checking those to make sure they're not coming back into heat. Cows that were estimated to uh, get bred just blindly hoping they have a CL those are the ones we are checking as well and any other notes we may see uh, see in the barn. Herds generally have herd health every two weeks to once a month and included in our work is uh, meeting with a veterinarian in some cases scheduling it and we're there for herd health work with the vet write down the results 
get the new get the open cows started again. So reasons why we have achieved business over the years. There's a, there's a financial benefit to the program for the producer. There's a labor there's a labor benefit. Peace of mind to some degree. Reproduction can be stressful. As far as the cost benefit, these numbers are a bit old. They're probably five years old now. I'm sure they've gone up since. But a pregnancy on its own, I was told by a veterinarian, is worth four to five hundred dollars. Again, four or five years ago. That's no genetic means. That's strictly a pregnancy itself. So if you have questions and want to talk to us about cost, you can use that as a bit of a benchmark. Another way to analyze cost is preg rate. Again, five to six years ago, it was figured or estimated it was about sixty dollars per preg rate point per cow, up to about 24, 25 percent uh, preg rate. As far as the the labor standpoint, that would that's another reason why we've gotten business. Depending on how a producer or a farm is set up, there's only so many hours in a day. If uh, reproduction can be sort of custom out, custom out, same way spraying is, combining, harvesting, any other any other situation like that, there's a benefit that way. And then uh, the, the peace of mind, um, you know, when guys are calving out cows, they're not really looking at the stress of the repro that month. They're looking at how many cows they got due this month. It's just a big snowball. They get too many cows, too many, too much milk. So then they have extra cows to ship. They can be more selective on culling and then they're keeping better cows. So the, the return tends to, it's not, it just doesn't stop. It's a return that keeps going after time. Yeah. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. I'd be more than happy to come by and visit. If you want to know if it's something that may work financially, I'd be happy to have a look at your herd data and see if I think we can make an improvement. First off, second off, if you are unsure if it might work in your herd, again, I'd be more than happy to stop by and see if it's something we can work with. And like I said, yeah, thanks for listening and uh, hopefully you found some value in our info. So we've been with Majors AI for a year now, uh, since we started with the dairy. Um, before we started the dairy here, I thought I was going to manage all the breeding on my own. And then when I talked with Majors AI, because I knew they were out there and I knew what they were doing, they explained to me how it worked. Um, the fact that I was going to be calling a technician in anyway when I uh, spotted heats on heifers and cows really pushed me to just get them to manage everything so I don't have to worry about uh, taking care of everything that has to do with the breeding with the cows and the heifers. And once we started with them, that took uh, a lot off my mind. Sure, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it any different. Really happy with how they manage uh, the breeding. Every day they're in and they know what's going on. I can talk to the technician and just rhyme off uh, any cow or heifer number and he seems to know who I'm talking about. So they're really in tune with your herd and what's going on even though that technician is taking care of another 10 or 15 uh, other herds. I check what the results are after every herd health so I know where all our cows are at. I'm still coming to the technician and the vet at the end of herd health and checking in on how we're doing and so I'm still very involved that way but they take a lot off my mind um, by taking care of the day-to-day -day, uh, repro with the cows and the heifers. So really happy with Majors AI.